I'm, uh, I'm running some errands for the wife and kiddo. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. So listen, man, remember that time a couple years back we got hammered off party liquor and spread eagle? And I made you promise that if I was ever seduced by a super hot, super intelligent being of dubious moral standing who whisked me away to an exotic land, well, that you'd come and help a brother out. Uh, vaguely. Well, bro, sis, you better buckle up because that time has arrived. Oh, shit! I really don't have time for this. But dude, you made a promise. Do you even know what a promise is? That's like a sacred pact, man. That no hey, man... shit, man. Come on, get you, stupid right. gal. Her, look, can whatever you need wait until tomorrow? I'm gonna go with the big N-O on that, compadre, because this is one of them uh, life or death things that I sometimes get myself into through no fault of my own. All right, fine. I'll help. Where do you need me to go? Uh, well, it's a little far. Don't worry. I get you here in the jiffy. What the fuck does that mean? Herc? Uh, what the? Look, just hold on and try not to vomit. Oh, and if you got a six-pack on you, go grab it now. Herc? What the hell is going on? situation is uh, rather dire but just head through the doors man I'll explain everything in a minute all right hello everybody Kevin here after 94 welcome back to the channel and we're oh, back with some oh, oh, oh. Oh, what the? Systems operating oh, oh. At and we're back with some more Far Cry 5 uh, like I said in the previous video and I was of darkness Come I would on, play man. the lost on Mars DLC and shut up Herc I would promise I was gonna play the Lost of Mars DLC. Here I am playing Look, the DLC. Oh the my! And we had the Lost of Mars DLC. This is definitely a more sci-fi themed DLC. What is this place, Herc? What am I doing here? Look, man. Okay, there ain't always a logical explanation of these things. Sometimes you just find yourself like in a space station with little to no context or backstory. You just gotta fucking roll with it, man. So, less questions and more movement, Nicholas, because if you don't save us, we all gonna what? die. What? Me? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, I don't know. He is talking nonsense, okay? Herc is a little bit crazy. And this DLC, this is definitely a little bit more sci-fi theme. We'll be going against uh, Martian spiders, which I'm not really a fan of spiders, but we'll see how it goes. From the image I see, they look, they look pretty disgusting looking, so we'll see if I'd be able to handle them or not. If I can handle Fast Pass Spiders from Skyrim, then I can handle this. I swear to God, I'm gonna whoop your ass when I see you. <laughs> good luck. Alright. See, the main good thing, there was definitely the original voice actors for Herc and Nick. Unfortunately, they did the same, uh, like comic style cutscene, kind of what you do with the stand again, but you know what? I, I will with it. I don't mind it. Okay, uh, not sure which way to go. Can we go this way? Oh god, zero gravity. There we go. Oh, oh, man, oh, dude, oh, 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 oh. I am so happy to see you, too. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's my junk? But as important as the answer is to that question, we got bigger fish to fry. Firstly, let me explain what's going on. 
You are now on Mars. Welcome. Now, imagine my arms are outstretched to comfort you during said revelation. Why are you on Mars? To save the Earth, man. What from? An alien invasion. Yeah, that's right, man. An alien invasion, Vigo. Now, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. It's not going to be us who are doing the actual saving of Earth. It's going to be mostly Anne. That Anne. The AI super being that Larry Parker would not stop talking about, you remember? Only problem is, man, these aliens took over the entire planet. They messed with her network, man, and she has come undone. Now, we need to get her back, man. So how do we return Anne to this beautiful, majestic, Earth-saving butterfly she once was? By finding energy cores and using them to power up all the terminals in the network, man. It's a simple plan, don't worry. Gotta get moving though, man. There's a couple energy core thingies over yonder, man. I'll show you how this works. Go get them. Energy cores? Alien invasion? What the fuck, Kurt? I didn't ask for this. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, man, okay? But you're not the only person whose life has been turned upside down for far-fetched and highly suspect reasons, okay? I mean, look at me. If anyone's a victim here, it's me, the Herkster. Now, I don't want any part of this. I just want to go back to my family. No can do, amigo. We used that last bit of juice to get you up here. Besides, if you don't power up Anne's terminals, you won't have a family to go back to. No, no, no. I asked for this though, Nick, but I'm pretty sure he's like, fuck this. <laughs> All right, so I knew this little red things or something. Right. Let's take it. Hey, energy core. And there's one here. That's it, man. That's the energy core. Bring it back and put it inside the terminal. So, you brought me all the way to Mars to turn the power back on? Well, don't say it like that, man. You take all the pizzazzy out of it. Okay, dokes. Let's restore the power to control center. And Hook's just ahead. <laughs> That's a good dumb now right there. <laughs> Alright, let's activate it. Oh! Control center restored. It worked! See? Nick, this is Ann. Ann, meet my bro Nick. Uh... Hi? Nicholas Rye, you are Earth's last hope. And me too, right? An arachnid force millions of years in the making threatens your world. But with your help, I can stop them. Yeah, Herc filled me in on that part. We turn on the terminals and restore your power and stop the alien invasion. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. Why do you ask? I don't know. Just seems pretty simple for something not so simple. You'd think there'd be more to it. No. It is very straightforward. <clears throat> okay, man. All systems are a go. Let's get down to business. You're gonna need to be able to defend yourself out here. You see the green barrels around here? Grab what's inside them. Ooh, what would be in here? Now I know it just feels like space jizz or something. Yeah. <laughs> this stuff is magic, Migo. Harvested straight from the aliens. It makes all sorts of cool shit out here. Right, so that's the new currency, I assume. Use it to get new alien weapons, technology. Wreck some fools. This DLC is potentially could be better than Hours of Darkness. We shall see. When you're done, man, take some of your space jizz over that 3D printing machine over there, and I'll show you a cool trick. Hmm, wait, is oh, over here? Aha! Voila, amigo! Welcome to the place where all your wildest dreams come true. Current designs are limited. The more you restore me, the more blueprints I can retrieve from the database. Oh, nice. Weapons. I got pistols, beam weapons, rifles. I want the rifles. Shotguns, eh. Kind of reminds me of the Mass Effect weapon designs. For now, we'll stick with the pistol. Ooh. There we go. You see how that works, man? Ooh. Space jizz equals firearms. Incredible. Yes. And the more my systems are restored, the more tools I can provide to obliterate any and all life forms who stand in our way. Uh, what do you mean, all life forms? Oh, you'll see when we get outside. We? Yeah, man, I ain't gonna let you hog all the glory for saving the world. This here's a partnership. Now come on, grab my head, dude. We got work to do. 
No crack. <laughs> Man, oh. this is not happening. Get a grip, Nicholas, because your brain's about to go kablooey, man. All right. Let's go. My antenna are scattered across the landscape. Turning them on will help restore my functionality and help you on your journey. Alright, let's see how big this world space is. Unless we get no map for now. Let's click no map. Okay. Something tells me we should not go down there. Something tells me there's a lot of nobs down there. So far, I see no baddies. At least at the moment. Whoa, is that a glitch of that? <laughs> well, it looks pretty huge. Yep, there's no map for now. We just gotta roll with it. Alright, let's explore this place. New areas. New terrifying. Oh, shit, what was that? Relax, man. It's just Mars, you know? I'm straining noise. Yeah, I don't like that sound. I don't want to get. I don't want to get jumped by the spiders. Wait, 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 man! Stay off that dirt. Ow! Oh! Spacecraft, man! Shoot it! Shoot it, please! Don't stop me, man! I'm defending. Woo! We can't find the other energy cores unless we power the antenna. Fuck me. I gotta climb towers now? Look, man, some stuff ain't as advanced out here as it is in Montana, for which I apologize, okay? Well, it looks really strange, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a dinosaur-spider hybrid. Something out of fucking nightmares. Alright. Yep. Something time we should not go down there. Alright. Helium can be looted from storage. Basically, the currency we got, or the green jeans that freaking hurt calls it. So basically, <coughs> we can use this to get new weapons and all that stuff, etc. And obviously, we can take it from the dead spiders as well. And uh, pretty much, it's our new money. Essentially. I thought my days of climbing shit was over after I left Karat, but here we are, man. Oh, after Karat! So you do know IJ? Wouldn't be surprised. I knew it already. Where the fuck is IJ? He should be joining us. IJ! I I... My days of oh my god, you said it again. Karat, but here we are, man. Don't worry, we got a spacesuit. We can just jump over it. Hey! Hey! Alright, all the goodies. I'll be man, careful. I, I totally forgot to mention those space crabs. They live underground. That that one's on me, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. You're sorry? You wanna tell me what that was all about? Man, ain't you ever seen tremors? I have. Space crab dudes, they tear through dirt the exact same way. I'm telling you, man. I hope you got a good look, man, because they're the invaders, okay? They're the ones we need to stop. Yeah, they've seen they tremors. Was telling me they're gonna use her technology to invade the Earth and turn all the humans into food. Isn't that crazy? Exactly. Humans will become nothing more than food to sustain the arachnid horde as it spreads through the galaxy. Are you sure? Because, uh, I mean, they don't look all that smart to me. Well, they are. These little bastards, they've been playing keep away with the energy cores so Anne can't get back online. So if we're gonna get those energy cores back, you can bet that these little bastards are gonna be all in our face about it. So it's like Saucer Troopers, in a way. We gotta go against bugs that are smart. Good movie, by the way, guys. You should totally watch Saucer Troopers. It's a classic. Old movie, but it still lives up to his name, so. Alright, let's activate the energy core. It's working! Antenna restored. Functionality increased. Excellent. 
Hands, Nick. Thank you for your assistance. You may now consult your map to locate other energy cores in this area. Uh. And so now I think we got our map now. Or maybe not. So it looks like this DOC might have completely got rid of the map completely. Oh, we just haven't got it yet. Oh man, those oh. two blips right there? That looks like the spot where I was attacked by a big ass space crab. I am picking up a signal from your gravity belt nearby. It will improve mobility, remove fall damage, and allow you to reach the transference center. No. No way, my space jets are still working, dude! Dude, my space jets are still working! Okay, let's go find them, man. Okay. Wow, so it looks like Herc's body got messed up. So now he's just ahead. <laughs> but we could save him uh, potentially, which is probably something we need. I don't know how he's still alive. I think Anne might have saved him. But now we got a map. The world space. It looks a little bit smaller, but hopefully it's better designed than uh, Hours of Darkness. Oh god, this clutch Nixon challenge is here too. Oh, why? We got Queens, Terminals rebooted. Of all the things, Clutch Nixon. I honestly don't like doing those mini games, guys. Like, some of them are right, but they're kind of dull and boring. And, and you know the controls for this game for vehicles. It's terrible. Once you acquire the gravity belt, go to the transference center. What the hell is transference? Transference is the future. It's plugging my consciousness into a robot killing machine like I'm at 209. Transference is the future. Yeah, yeah, we get it, and Oh man, she's been trying to make me forget about finding my human body, so I'll just live life in a robot body. But I got a good feeling, man, I'm staying positive. All right. Can we make assault rifles? Because we might need them. Doesn't look like it. Because we need to get blueprints, too. Oh. Need that. Alright. This, we can use this. Well, we can now, because we gotta find more freaking outposts to sell. Alright, we got zero Gs. So, luckily, we can. Ow! We still take a lot of damage there, okay. Something tells me we should take it easy. <laughs> Yeah, we should take some damage. So we'll take it easy. Uh, uh. Nice and easy. And stay away from the dirt. Because that's where they'll pop out. Can we go? Disengaging door lock. Please wait. Oh, good dope. Oh, dang, is that... Is that my hand? Well, who else's hand would it be, dummy? <laughs> Found his hand. Good point, man. I'm just not mentally prepared to accept the possibility that something really bad has happened to my childless dad bod. So you need to collect all of Herb's body parts before leaving mine. It's a tractor pocket. You can access the body part tabs at the menu. <laughs> my scans indicate several more organic anomalies. Oh, come on. Are you serious? My body's in a bunch of pieces? Oh, man. How are we going to find them all? With transference. You will gain the ability to detect such anomalies yourself. I'm lucky. Yeah. Done and done. Here and now, another promise is made. We will find my body parts and put me back together like Humpty Dumpty because there ain't no point in saving a world that does not include my beautiful booty. I'm happy you will comply. Transference is the future. Go ahead, Alex. They're like spaceships. Okay, and this is the dirt. Okay, just like Ann said, we need to find the space jets I was using. Can't get to the transference center without them. Walk in the ground is safe as long as you stay off the sand. Look for walking to rain and navigate in a harsh environment. Stepping on brown sand, roll track ragnars. Degenerate tremors at the shop beneath the earth. Yeah, I, I can see him. I see the little fucker. Watch your step, man, and remember, the sand is bad. Maybe I want to kill one. Okay, that's a lot. 
That is quite a bit. It's kind of like Half-Life 2 all over again. Woo! Could we fall down? We are so... Damn. Looks like the energy cores are up there. We need to find those space jets. Oh my god. Oh my god. How'd that fucking hurt me? Hey! Oh shit, that's my pelvic area! Big ass space crab did me dirty! Huh, <laughs> huh. Oh! Oh, oh yeah, he's ass! <laughs> Found his ass. Oh, what was that? What was that? The gravity belt gives you better mobility here. Use space to activate. Hold Z to descent. The gravity belt, you are now immune to fall damage. But if it's depleted, then pretty much be a fuck. <laughs> All right. Wait. Hey. Where's my junk? Nick. Nick. Where's my junk? Oh, no. Nick. You are lucky you've never had to go through this, man. Nick, I'm telling you, there is no worse feeling than thinking you found your dismembered member only to realize it's your beckonless pelvis. Come on, man. A little sympathy. Alright. So, now we know we need to find, you know, what. <laughs> Alright. See if we can make that jump over there. There we go. Nice and easy. I swear, if that is freaking dick over there, that would be freaking salty. Alright, now we gotta get over here without alerting. Woo! We are golden. Still gotta find all his body parts there. Alright, what are we gonna do to. We gotta find the rest scrap. of me, Nick. From my temples to my taint to my toes, man. All of me, okay? And then Anne can turn me into a real boy again. Herc, what you're saying isn't possible. No way, Jose. You shoot a big enough load of that space jizz into Anne's 3D printer and anything is possible. Nonsense, Herc. With transference, you'll become something greater than man. You will become immortal. Indestructible. You will be... perfect. While there is truth to that statement, I gotta be honest with you, I am on the temporary train for this one, Anne. I don't expect you to understand the joys of humanity, the pleasures of the flesh, the delights of the senses, the takings of a monstrous dumb. There's something going on that way. Swear. Oh! Uh oh. She had to suppose red flesh on the arachnids back. Oh, yeah. Man, do you want me to be a cyber killing machine and fulfill my destiny or not? Ow, that shoot! Woo! Hey, bye. Gina thing has unlimited ammo by overheats. Let's see, at least they don't have eight eyes. But anyway, with phobia, we'll. Probably not be liking those things. I'll be honest, I have a little I have some phobia stuff too. Like if I see things in the hole, I do Listen tend to man, like I get it. You're afraid if I become a robot, I'll try to kill you, but I promise I won't. I'ma be a good robot, like RTD2 with a machine gun. That's a big nope. That is a lot of fucking damage. That's too much. That's way too many. Holy shit. Yeah, this calls for assault rifle. Stop that! Woo! Hey! This guy's a nothing. Hey. You know, there's no point using this stuff. Ow! You're nasty. Stop that. Come over here. Oh, 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 oh. Ugh. You're nasty. Fuck you. There 
Yeah, they're pretty weird looking, I'm not gonna lie. I don't, how can I see? I don't understand. Why? Right, let's summon him, dude. Alright. Let's see. There is one. We can loot down there. Wish I am gonna go down there like a madman. Alright. Alright. And avoid. Avoid going up there. See, they're still highlighted for some reason in the little compass, so I'm not sure if I'm missing something else from these guys. But Grawlers we should be good now. So we can also deviate our path as well and go for, straight for that Mantana deal. Which I think we're gonna do that. All the way up there. Yeah. Hey. Oh god. Not to see here. Alright. Oh, the game looks really good. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really nice. You're going the wrong way. What are you talking about, game? Really? I can't cheat my way up there? <laughs> Why? Why can't I go up there? I hate You're when- wasting valuable time. Please turn back. Are you serious? You serious, game? That's a lot of bullshit. I hate invisible walls, you do realize that. I hate invisible walls. I can clearly go over there. Clearly. But the game is like, nah, we don't want you to have fun. Looks like a piece. Grenade ah. acquired. It's like earth grenades, but better. All right, the grenadettos. Oh my god! All right, motherfucker, you want? Come on, you suck. All right. <laughs> You're nothing. This pistol is actually pretty good. We could just play the whole game with this. Now well, something tells me we're not going to fight regular spiders Because I did see pictures of flying creatures. And obviously that's going to be more difficult to do it because there was fucking damn flying. Approaching transference center. Oh man, I'm starting to get real excited now. I cannot believe that in just a few minutes I'm going to be a cold, uncaring, cybernetic death monster. It's going to be sweet, man. It's going to be sweet. All right, what we're looking here? Hey, this hurt me. Doesn't appear to be hurting me. Right, looks like we're going down here. Woo! Let's not go down there. Okay. Ow! He's on the top floor. You gotta power that place up before we can use the transference chain. Fucking assholes, you fly man. Fly like the wind now, little monkey. Monkeys don't fly, Herc. Not with that attitude, they don't. They do, correct. Yeah, you better run. Ha ha ha! Woo! Yeah. Stop. Oh, that's some weird sound I did not really like. All right, where I put the girl? Up, up there? Okay, up there. All right. Let's check what's down here. Oh, could have gone this way. Cause it was slide. Okay. No, well, so I gotta go up. Space manages. That's where we're supposed to go. Okay. Take all the goodies. Hey. Alright. Why do I want to go down there? Okay. Best, best part. Are uh, we good here? Yes. Oh! We good. Woo! 
Alright. Hey. Transference center restored. That's what I like to see. You can now use the transference chamber. The two of you working as a team will greatly increase our chances of success. Team Tad Bros for life. Put me in, dude. Put me in. Where's one? Yeah, alright, hold up. Got some new guns real quick. Ooh. Let's see. Has better accuracy and has accuracy is good, damage is good, range suck. Recharge great suck. You now I'm gonna get a probably gonna get a assault rifle. B punches it! Sometimes we might need this. Oh my god. Hey! Oh god, that's not fun there. I hurt. Look out, man! Big ass spacecraft! Big ass spacecraft! Oh! That's her! That's her! That is a spacecraft who stole my province, man. I know. I'd recognize that ugly face anywhere. You're the reason my wiener's rolling around the sand somewhere looking like a gigantic breaded chicken cutlet. <laughs> Woo! Goodbye. Stop. Woo! Let's go. human puzzle I've become. Oh, good jokes. Nice. So far, I'm liking this DLC dinner Vietnam DLC already. Something new and fresh. Hey. So it has that same traditional uh, take this apples and that. But overall, I think it's an improvement over the Hours of Darkness DLC. Channel now. Hey. Don't mess up my goatee. Alright, we gotta turn him to a robot, I guess. For now. Oh my god! I am fucking Brobocop, man! Half man, half robot, all party machine! Oh my god, I need some theme music. Show me some love. Hey! Hey, robot. <laughs> he will now follow and protect you on your journey. He can die, but he can be injured to the point of malfunction, so we still gotta revive his ass. Alright, we got robot with us. Hell yeah. Alright. So, where to? I think we can go anywhere at this point. Alright, man. You still got an energy core? Let's head to the closest antenna. I bet you it's that one right there. I bet you. Broca can be ordered. Yes, I know how companion right, works. Buddy. Brace yourself, you're about to pop a bro boner here. Check it out. You bad boy Robocop here is fitted with a whole punch and lasers and these spacecraft that don't stand no chance again. And this sexy, delicious rock hard body was built to last all kinds of physical and verbal abuse. We're linked up, man, so you can just tell me where to go and I'll follow, man. I won't even argue like ever, unless you say something about monkeys. And if we find ourselves in a pickle and shit gets real intense, you just use me, man. I'll draw these suckers away with my jaw-dropping dance moves and such. Now I know you're impressed with how impressive I've become, but don't let how impressive I am distract you from the fact that we gotta give our human compadres the heroes they deserve. We need to find more energy cores, man. I think there's another antenna nearby, so let's go. I knew it. Huh? Just 
How the hell did you get mixed up in all this? Man, that's not important. What is important is that you understand how much danger we're all in because I didn't, okay? I fucked up. I, I, I didn't really realize. I tried to impress Anne by taking care of this all myself and where to get me? Got my damn body snatched and sprinkled all over damn Mars. It's probably my fault for telling her that I was Earth's greatest champion. I see that now, but come on, man. I was, I was trying to get something. So all I'm trying to tell you, Nick, is that you can't be a dummy about this, okay? You can't be thinking you're some new hot kid on the block. You gotta stay humble, man. Stay focused. You gotta be smart, man, like old Herky. You wanna hear yourself? I'm doing this because you're not smart. You're actually really, really dumb, Herc. I was dumb, Nick. I was dumb. Past tense. And for like a very short period of time, I'm talking 17 seconds max. And that's way less time than most people spend being dumb, which is a scientific fact. Which means that it is scientifically impossible for me to do anything dumb for like a long, long time, man. Like statistically, that's a fact. Right? 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 Nick? Oh my god! Oh my god, Hook, are you okay? You're not looking good, dude.